We made a pixel that goes right off the screen and returns on the other side. Who makes games that way anymore? Nobody. So why don't we do the old favorite, I guess, um, uh, which would be velocity spell and talk at the same time. Um, there we go. Enter. There we go. We're going to uh, basically try and get our glorious uh, Pong ball to bounce off the wall. Yeah, all-time favorite. Um, so what we want to do is uh, reverse direction, right? Um, currently, we are uh, uh, updating the uh, position by uh, just uh, adding a value of 1 in there. Um, I'm going to change this up just a little bit here. We will go down, well, not that far down, here and create a new variable for velocity. There, I spelled it right that time. Velocity in the x direction. And that will be a db1. Mm -hmm. And then we can use this um unfortunately we can't just uh you know use it like that i believe that will give us an error why don't i verify that yeah right away invalid combination of code and operands let's just uh so here i have uh, exhausted these variables uh registers they're no longer being used i believe i said in an earlier video that they were cleared no that's there's still values in there but they are now accessible again so why don't i just use uh, ax and um i'm sorry i will use it by moving a value into it of our thingy there you have a velocity x there right and then um, we'll just replace this with a x yeah Let's see what we got yeah okay so now our, our pixel is using our velocity awesome a little chunky i'm not gonna deal with that at this time you know there there um, there's different ways to do the frame rate and stuff I'll, I'll, we'll take care of all that in another video uh this is just quick down and dirty uh for learning purposes yeah the reason it slows up and speeds down periodically is of course because we're running an emulator and your operating system is doing things in the background every once in a while i'll go look for up dates or something and there'll be a little bit of lag in there so it's kind of unpredictable however if you ran this uh so it's the only thing running on your computer uh would it would run faster probably for one but it would should be more consistent because now it's based on the clock cycles of your cpu okay so now let's see if we can get that little pong ball to bounce off that wall shall we um that's pretty straightforward here we're already checking for collision uh collide r so if i go down here to my collision checking routine that sets it back to zero um and all all i really need to do is say uh negative uh that value yeah negative word pose x that should flip this uh value here from positive to negative and vice versa let's see what happens la, 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 la. Oh, it did not do what i wanted to do why is that because velocity x let me see here uh neg word oh uh, neg word uh, velocity x i'm flipping my velocity here changing this value not that value okay so let's see what happens oh the waiting is the hardest part okay bounces off one wall comes back in on the other side um, that's not quite desirable i think what we want is also it's pretty straightforward oh um up here we were checking for um if it went off screen and the value was equal to this okay but let's now we have a velocity what if, what if we put a value of two in there this would break right so why don't we just say greater than or equal to there for starters also it's not collide 
uh, well, here, hang on, let me just, okay, let me just, um, copy all this. Paste it. Okay. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wrong thing, wrong thing. I'm copying these. There we go, there we go. Got it. I'm going to keep my this little bit here. And both of them can share that. Here, I'm um, checking for negative one. Yeah. Okay, that should take care of the other side of the screen. And if it's less than or equal to, okay, so it'll do those comparisons. Oh, and um, collide R is now, I'm just going to control H, collide R, I'm going to change that to reverse X. Yeah. Replace all three occurrences. Nice. The other one was um, here. We we called reverse x. Here I'm gonna call return x. We'll now be say um, that we have. Oh, why is my mouse jumping all over the place? We have reversed x. Replace all two occurrences. Okay, everything should be working. Let's have a quick save and a quick glance. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. There we go. Bouncing off the walls, the all time favorite. Okay, we have introduced you to uh, collision detection, we have introduced you to velocity, and we have uh, introduced you to the uh, negative uh, NEG uh, assembly command, which takes uh, a positive value and turns it negative, or if the value is negative, it turns it positive. There we go. Uh, yeah, so also, you know, we're, we have a kind of set... Um, a, f a frame rate here, which I would estimate to be around 40 frames a second or so, uh, consider considering that I was trained as a professional animator in college. Uh, but you could now um, up that frame rate to like 60 FPS, you know, um, make it so it is, uh, it would be running, it would be visually running slower right but now you could speed it up by changing that velocity you see so different ways to go about that there you go